I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. You, so we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh, message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 tier and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. And the child, child shall lead, lead them. them. To buy our merch. Do me a favor, um, Amy, or whatever, my, or Perk. Um, ban Mr. Fausto Martinez. Just ban him. Get rid of them, please. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. We've got more coming. I think this is a song from the same record uh, and the same yeah, concept Dawn album. Yeah, Dawn of the Chosen. Dawn of the Chosen World by Catamania. Yep. And I think this is from the same record. So maybe this is uh, part two. Maybe. Thanks, Perk. Okay, guys. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, it's the same one, right? Yeah, but it's it's a song seven, and we just did song two. Song two, okay. Thanks, honey. Good. So I think it's a concept record, and if it is a concept record, maybe we'll get more insight into what's into what's going on mm -hmm. in our uh, quest. Sounds good. To figure out what's going on with this band. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. What was the name of the song again? Um, the name of the song is "Dawn of the Chosen World." Dawn of the Chosen World. This should be interesting. Mm. From the album Eternal Winter's Prophecy. Let's go! Um.
was that very short? I uh, it no, it was almost five minutes. I think yeah. it was shorter than the previous. It was longer than yeah. the previous one, but experientially shorter because I enjoyed it more than the, the previous <laughs> one. Um, yeah. Okay, so then what's go back to that? What was the the full title of that record? Well, Dawn Eternal of, Winter's Prophecy. Eternal is the Winter's album. Prophecy. Yeah. Okay. So yep. these these guys are trying to do some sort of incantation enchantment mm-hmm. to cover the earth in eternal winter, basically. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting because in uh, usually when people talk about eternal winter, they're talking about like the death aspect mm-hmm. of winter and all the rest of it. But he's specifically talking about the coldness. Yeah. Right? Like they're they're trying they're they're focusing specifically Remember the white witch from uh, Narnia? Yeah. She wanted it all icy that too. That was the line. Always winter but never Christmas. Right. That was yeah. the line. That was actually like one of the best lines of all time. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, know, so think, you know that's true in Maine. Christmas is the one thing that helps the cold and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, how can there be so many people living here that don't have an exit plan? You crazy ass secularist! <laughs> ah, take away the uh, the nativity scene. Get out! And people getting triggered over a nativity scene. Y'all are the worst. Uh, um, <laughs> y'all are the worst. <laughs> Oh we boy! Just like the same thing, like when we saw the Hail Satan documentary, and all these Christians are getting bent right. Out of yeah, shape over yeah. Bible. We said, said, "Leave them alone." <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I look at the crazy secularists who 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 get triggered over nativity scenes, and the crazy Christians who get triggered over Baphomet. Yeah, as both ridiculous. Right, right. <laughs> and that guy, I I wish we could have had the the Hail Satan uh, video. Like, oh, uh, man. So is it completely deleted or it got blocked? Yeah, what they happened? deleted it. We got Damn. a copyright strike. I so we don't even have it, it to even, even be appeal, able to. Yeah, I didn't even appeal it because, like, we literally watched the entire movie. I know. <laughs> but we stopped it and talked about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it really like too a, bad. It was a really fun experience because we, yeah. we just loaded everybody up. We all got in there. We all watched it together. And, um, and yeah, it, was, it was fun. We had an actual safety. We did. Yeah. So we were able to stop. Talk to the homie. Yeah. And then, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we do, Josh, sometimes we do have a call in portion to the show. I'll tell you what, the insomnia stream tonight, folks will be able to call in if they want to call in. There you go. Yeah, you know, we'll be, I'll be talking about the Satanism thing and whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, so these people are trying to. The, these At people some point, are, you need to do the Twitch thing. What Twitch? So then you'll be in our room. <laughs> You know, when you were doing, was it Twitch or whatever, where you were playing the video games from and you had the camera on you and you were talking and playing and all that? Yeah. You, you could do that some of the insomnia streams. So you'll still be around me. I'll just put my earplugs in and I'll still sleep. Yeah, you say that. <laughs> well, if you're in the insomnia stream, JMB, you can call in for sure. Not on this one, though, because I don't want you coming out here dissing these bands. <laughs> <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard your stuff. You're not better than these people. Tina just put your your phone number in the stream. <laughs> uh, well, no, because Middle Earth has my number. I'm teasing. That's obviously not your number, number babe. But... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> look, look, look. Wake me up, Vin. I'll talk to you about John Lennon. <laughs> no, I'm going to have an interview with John Lennon. What yeah, you talking about? Yeah, he doesn't about? need to talk to you. Yeah, we got that set up, inshallah. <laughs> yep. All right, I am the chosen one, king of the darkest thrones, blessed with demon's blood, which makes my way through Christian flood. Okay, so he's the Christian flood. Yeah, yeah, he's going after because the Christian flood is, and there's just a bunch of Christians that are probably coming around, and his demon blood helps him survive. I think, I think what he's saying is, he's probably in a Christian dominated society or whatnot. Mm. So the demon blood. um, Oh yeah, I still have the Viking thing on the brain. He he wants to, you know, he wants to. I'm assuming that Mm. the the coldness or whatnot or the winter is a metaphor for the opposite of Christianity or whatever, I think. We'll see. Am I the poisoned one from the bite of serpent's crown marked with seventh fire, which makes my way to desire? That's really interesting. Except, uh, what are those those top sins? What do they call them? Uh, mortal sins? Yeah. Was, you mean the seven deadly yeah, sins? Yeah, I was wondering what number seven was. Well, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting because you'd figure he'd say six, right? You know, but he's he's uh, the seventh 
Seventh Fire. Maybe it's to talk about all the seven deadly scenes. You know, that's what I'm that's not what I'm not sure. Not necessarily the seventh one. Oh, but all seven of them, which would make him a complete sinner, basically. Yeah, that's probably what it is because number seven is slothfulness. Yeah, so so maybe the seventh fire is to encompass all the seven deadly sins or the seven mortal sins, which in then turn mm-hmm. would make you a complete sinner or whatever, which would then be the opposite of you know Christianity mm-hmm. or whatnot. Mm-hmm. No, Sori doesn't know the seven deadly sins, and neither do I, because uh, Sori. Her parents were a Roman Catholic, but she was not raised as a Roman Catholic. Mm-mm. And <clears throat> as a matter of fact, I think because my parents were like so like against their roots that we didn't really know a lot about their roots. It's no, not it's, like they were like talking about them. Jambi, it's not, it's not disrespectful to you to say that you're not better than the people that you were actually disrespecting. I didn't say that. Say that shit. I didn't say that you had a shit base or any of that shit. What I said was. The people that you're dishonoring on this channel are better than you. Now, if you think that that's disrespectful, I don't know what to tell you, brother. I love you, but think. You love to dish it out, bro. You love to dish it out. Okay. Uh, Am I the poison one? Okay, so he doesn't know. So it looks like there are multiple candidates for being like the, the winter messiah or whatever. Oh. So he's oh, asking am I the if, chosen if he's one. the chosen one. Because I'm assuming he wants to be the chosen one. Right? Um, am I the poison one from the bite of the serpent's crown? Mark with seventh fire, which makes my way to desire. Bury the... See, there it is right there. Bury the sun into eternity that dark shall come upon. Hail to the future chosen in the world of endless coldness. So, so there, you know, I was talking to Dorian about this like last week when we were doing that drop off for product. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was saying... Bro, because he, you know, he's, I'm going to live in, I want to live in Maine, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I said, well, what about Cali? Because he's like, he he wants to be in like major historical cities. I was like, well, you can't get bigger than Los Angeles. He's like, why would I want to be in Los Angeles? I'm like, bro, right now it's 530 and it's pitch black out here. <laughs> I'm like, in Cali, it's like two o'clock and, you know, and then we did the same thing in Florida. Florida's on East Coast time, but like. It's daylight there. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so wait, how did that connect to the song? <laughs> so, well, because in winter, when winter comes, you get the eternal darkness. Oh, my God. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Endless coldness. Ooh. Yeah. Bury the sun into eternity. And then he, so he wants darkness and en- endless coldness, which again, the emphasis on coldness is so fascinating to me because it's like. Holy smokes, man. Yeah, why? Why would you want, like, endless coldness? You know? I, the only thing that I can surmise from that is that you are, maybe you're depressed. And you feel like, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you're in a particularly depressed phase and you don't want to be around, like, a party? It's like. Yeah, but. Laugh, but, but like, maybe you're feeling is, so. This is kind of like a fantasy world, though. So, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that's. Bury the sun into eternity, he says. That dark shall come upon a hill, the future <laughs> no. for chosen in the world of endless coldness. I can't. <laughs> I can't. To be honest with you, well, I have may, to maybe say. Maybe they're talking about they're having a race of people who not only are acclimated to the coldness, but like coldness is their thing. That that's where they thrive. I just, I don't even understand. I don't understand that. Yeah, because that's, you're born, you're born as a, you're born as a warm blooded individual, whatever. So you acclimate to, you know, warm or tropical weather. And you're part of the old race, but what if there's like a a new race of people that thrive on the coldness, but they only get to come out in the winter. They only get like a little slice of time mm-hmm. where it's their time, but they want all the time. Like I I understand it. Again, you have to you have to go into their universe, man. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, but there's parts in our world where you can live like that if you want to. Don't wish that on the rest of us. See, <laughs> Amy's one of those one of those people. She always preferred cold to heat. Till a few days ago. Till a few days ago. She must okay, have, she must it have depends. Some, yeah. If I'm in bed and they say, "Do you want the room hot or do you want it cold?" I want the cold. I want the room so cold that I am forced to lay off with a bunch of blankets. I like that. But I don't want to live. I, I don't like being cold. I almost, you know, smashed my head open just trying to move our car today. 
You know, because these people are too lazy to salt the road. And then my poor neighbor went out and she fell and she hit her head very hard. She was walking around holding her head. Honestly, uh, she looked confused. She was walking around. I said, oh my gosh. This is a fantasy world. Yeah, I know. You're not thinking about uh, practical things like oh, okay. salting your oh, driveway. Oh, fine, fine. I'll throw in with you. If it's a fantasy world, then I love the idea of like, you know, when I watch Frozen and I see her ice castle, I'm like, that's beautiful. But I don't want to live in an ice castle, so... And, and I won't say that I'm a person that just loves the heat. You'll find that if... No, I, don't, I didn't say you love the heat. If we're in warm climate, you're going to get a, a more moody side of me. I don't like being hot and I don't like being sweaty and I don't like my hair getting ruined because I'm sweaty. I'm just saying, in the universe of this song, yeah. I think these people feel like... Are you talking about Home Alone Story? That's what it felt like. Huh? <laughs> Adam, are you talking about Home Alone Story? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if it would have been recorded, I'd have put it up for you guys to see. Like my arms and legs were going so fast trying to keep my balance, I looked like a friggin' cartoon. Oh, when you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's actually pretty. It's really it's, dangerous. It is, and honestly, the Atkins died. The Atkins guy, you know the guy that. That's the how he died. died. He that's died. how he died. He, yeah, he smacked his head on the on the ice because he ice. fell. Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing. When you're like young, you're like, ah, who cares if I fall? I'll get back up. But now, like, I don't know what it is. Like, our bodies don't, they don't bend as good or something. I don't know. I was, I was not looking forward to that fall. I'm like, that's going to prevent me from doing gym or whatever. That's true. It would have prevented you from getting, you doing gym. Um, bury the sun into eternity. Yeah. See? No. No. See, that's, no, I, I mean, I, I've gone through, see, the thing is, if if you were on a let's say that you were unaffected by the cold or let's say that you thrived in the cold mm -hmm. like you know like that perfect like spring type weather mm -hmm. seventy eight degrees mm -hmm. you know not too hot not too cold perfect perfect spring weather mm -hmm. good running weather mm -hmm. you go out there you see nature and all that shit and your body's just like it's like that when perfect the spot. sun is warming the temperature so it's getting hot but there's still snow banks and the wind blows the cold from the snow banks sedact. So Right. That okay. right there. Woo. Okay. Okay. So what if the dead of winter had that effect on you physically and psychologically? Well, I'm not completely far away from that. If it's a dead of winter and there's a bad storm and all that, I love that. That I thrive in that feeling. But what if you could be outside yep. and it wouldn't completely destroy your body, but it would make your body thrive the same way that spring could make your body thrive. Yeah, I told you, when I go out in that weather, I do thrive in it. But it doesn't last in Maine. There's not storms constantly. It's Right. So these people, that's how they are. Yeah, I get it. I see where... And so they want they want coldness forever. Yeah, but he said, I am, I am the seduced one by the mistress of the night. So we're he's not saying, just talking about I? cold. He's saying, am I? Well, regardless, he's still talking about the mistress of the night. That was so it's the not one even that cold. we talked about in the previous song. It's not even cold. What do you mean? Donovan. The mistress of the night. Oh, we I just know. Talked about the, the yes, lady. I know. He's right. being seduced by this, but I'm saying. Well, he has to be with her in order to have the children that that do all that stuff. Because they were talking about the generations of the coal. So he's he he's saying, "Am I the candidate to be with that lady?" Well, and then he have says at the end that he is. I am the chosen one. I am the poisoned one. I am the seduced one. With these aspects, I take control of this world. Right. So he marries this. The lady that we talked about in the earl in the, the previous yeah. song, they get together, copulate, have some kids, and that's how they're gonna take yep. over the world for eternal coldness. Yep, and he ends it with bury the sun into eternity. Holy shit. Well, you deep. know what? That's its own little love story in the in that world. <laughs> what? I don't think it's a love story. I I think that that's just uh He's chosen, he's it's seduced a by the it's a necessity. Because they have to procreate and have a bunch of... Because he talks about... Oh, you just think it's necessity? It's yeah. seduced. Yeah. Yeah, seduce. Yeah. To, in order for them to have kids. Because he talks about the generations Yeah, it, and come. what is this? He says, I am the seduced one by the mistress of the night, lusting for blood path. Take my arms and cut the veins with wrath. What right. is he saying? It's a ritual. That's what I've been telling you. Oh, my God. He gets together with her. She does all types of horrible shit to him. They copulate. They have future generations. That's how he's going to take over the world. He wants it to happen. It's like the praying mantis. What does she do? She eats him after. Yeah, it's very interesting. They made they made uh, they made the the woman the linchpin for the guy's power. Yeah. Like he's basically incidental. She's the only one that can do it, 
But he, there are obviously. I'll there give are, you my power. There babe. are other, there are other candidates. You see what I'm saying? There <laughs> yeah. are other male candidates, but she's the only one. So right. So, so they the, all. The woman is the linchpin in this situation. They, they I like this song know. a lot better than the other one. So nine point three for me. Oh, nine point six for me. Already had it decided. You did? Yeah. I like the, the way they. Was progressing. I, 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 I said, mm, good 9. job 6. on this one, Mike Franco. Now yeah. I realize why he did it. Oh. Yeah, song one and song. Yeah, song oh. one and song two. Right. I see what you did I there. I see what you did there, Franco. Yep. Um. Yeah. So now. I would actually, so I would actually bring the other song up to a nine now that I saw this one, uh, retroactive, <laughs> you know, correction or whatever. But I like do with it what you other, will. The other thing I liked about this song was that we did have the synth, but it wasn't overpowering. No, it was no. It was, the the guitar I work. I don't know that I've I ever feel heard like of the guitar work. The, the guitar work should be central, and that's not just because I'm a guitarist. <laughs> All right, there, listener. Having said that, then out. Sorry out. Gone.